Hello, and welcome back to the President's Vlog. Lots of exciting things are happening here at Catholic Central during this month of March. And to tell us about them will be Mitch Hancock, our wrestling coach, Brandon Kalaniecki, our hockey coach, students from our debate team, and Mrs. Karen Fanning regarding this year's drive. Please stay tuned to, till the very end when I will be joined by a special guest. Good afternoon, Shamrock Nation. Coach Hancock here from the wrestling program. Just want to let you know we had a remarkable season capped off by another state championship. Our seniors led us to a 34-19 win over 19th ranked Brighton um, to capture our third state championship in a row. Uh, the team ended the season ranked number nine in the country, went on to the individual state tournament where we put a division one record eight wrestlers in the finals, winning seven of those matches. For the first time in Catholic Central history, we had two individuals square off against each other in the finals at 140 pounds, which was phenomenal. Kevon Davenport won his fourth Division I state title, which is the first time that's happened in Catholic Central history, and the first time an African American has ever accomplished that task. We have a number of those guys returning next year, so the future is bright for Catholic Central Wrestling. Thank you for your support. Incredible season. We finished the year 29 1 and 1. Uh, undefeated in the state of Michigan, untied in the state of Michigan, uh, MIHL champs and Catholic League champs, and then of course Division One state champs. We had some disappointment in the last two years at the end, and you could tell this senior class was just not going to let that happen again this year. They they really were on a mission to finish it off, and they did just that. As a coach, uh, as an alumni who was on the other end as a player and got to experience winning a couple of state championships. It was an incredible experience to stand back on the bench as the clock ticked down and be able to watch those kids go out and celebrate against the student section. That's just what Catholic Central is all about, and we're fortunate to be able to be a part of it and continue to help the program. Hi, I'm Charles Hillu. And I'm Nick Zarnata, and we are the nationally qualifying forensics duo in the Detroit Catholic Forensic League where we present a 10 minute scene, but we cannot make any eye contact or touch each other. We're part of the Catholic Central Competitive Speech Association. And we also compete in speech contests, such as the Birmingham Optimist Club's oratorical contest, and also the American Legion oratorical contest. Hi, my name is Karen Fanning. I've been teaching at Catholic Central for 21 years. 21 years of memories because of the beautiful families who have sent their sons here. This year I have another story in that I have an award-winning homeroom. Through DRIVE this year, this class, Room 222, has done outstanding work for our school. Hello from Room 222. Welcome back. I mentioned in my first vlog entry that our search for the next president of Catholic Central was underway. As you may know by now, Mr. Ed Turret from the class of 1985 was selected as the fifth president of Catholic Central. Ed has a long history in Catholic education and leadership. In fact, he got his start at CC when I hired him as our director of the missions. I shall be returning to my post as president emeritus, and I look forward to working with Ed at the help of Catholic Central. It is my honor to introduce Ed, who will speak to you briefly about his vision and goals for Catholic Central during his presidency. Take it away, Ed. Hello, Shamrock Nation. I'm honored and humbled to be the next president of Catholic Central. I want to thank the school board and the Brazilian Fathers for this opportunity. I also want to thank Father Elmer for his continual service to our alma mater. And don't worry, Shamrock Nation, we're not letting him go anywhere. He and many Brazilians will continue to work here at Catholic Central for many years. They will help us continue our strong Catholic identity and continue the Brazilian traditions that founded this school for the first 90 years. Also be assured, we will continue to hire and retain the best teachers possible. We'll have the best facilities and technology to attract the best and brightest students. And finally, we will make Catholic Central affordable or available to all students, regardless of their economic status. I look forward to working with our board of directors, our school administrators, our faculty and staff, and all of you. Thank you, and now here's Father Elmer with this month's prayer reflection. One announcement first. Every Tuesday from now on, when school is in session, there will be adoration of the Blessed Sacrament in our chapel 
after the 7.20 morning mass and will be there until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. What a great Lenten practice this could be for you. Our prayerful reflection today was composed by Pope Benedict XVI. Only when we meet the living God in Christ do we know what life is. We are not some casual and meaningless product of evolution. Each of us is the result of a thought of God. Each of us is willed. Each of us is loved. Each of us is necessary. There is nothing more beautiful than to be surprised by the gospel, by the encounter with Christ. There is nothing more beautiful than to know others, to, to know him and to speak to others of our friendship with him. And I'd like to add, there is no better way for us to enhance our friendship with Christ than by participation in his Holy Eucharist and secondly, by praying his mother's rosary. During this Lenten season, I urge you to do just that. Jesus Christ should be our best friend. Amen.